The HTC One X is a pretty exciting smartphone. For starters, it's HTC's very first quad-core smartphone, so it's incredibly powerful, and it will be one of the first super-fast smartphones to hit the market. Now, it probably hasn't gone unnoticed that this thing is huge and stunning, sporting a polycarbonate unibody with a 4.7-inch 720p Gorilla Glass screen. So if you're of the view that bigger is better, you're probably getting a little bit excited right now. Now, big and beautiful is the key theme here, and despite its giant, smooth-edged matte form factor, it's skinny and lightweight enough to slide into your pocket without an unsightly bulge. Plus, it feels good in the hand. And the screen is gorgeous, practically spilling over the edge, which makes it look even more luxurious. And with a 1.5 gigahertz Tegra 3 quad-core processor, the HTC One X is incredibly powerful. This means performance is superb. Browsing the web is fast and stutter-free with snappy zooming and scrolling, multitasking will have you flitting in and out of apps in no time, and graphic and data-heavy applications run without dragging their feet. Now, NVIDIA's Tegra Zone is full of Tegra free optimized games, and it's when these graphic heavy games are fired up that you notice just how visually stunning and quick the One X can really be. And being quad core means it's gunning for the likes of the PlayStation Vita, which also packs quad core capabilities. And overall, everything moves along with great fluidity, and the battery will almost certainly last you till the end of the day. And with Ice Cream Sandwich on board, the One X packs the latest Google OS, which means unlocking your phone with facial recognition, a speedier, smoother web experience, more storage for your applications, and a more enhanced and intuitive app menu and overall Android experience. The One X also comes with the new and improved Sense 4.0 interface. So multitasking throws up a nice diagonal pane interface. And like the Sensation XE and XL, the One X packs Beats audio integration. But unlike those phones, you don't need a pair of Beats headphones to take advantage of the audio goodness. Plug in a pair of Sennheisers, for example, and the Beats audio tech will automatically kick in. And there's a definite difference in audio quality, throwing up the Beats' signature bassy sound. Now, bass isn't as punchy when it's switched off, and while there is a noticeable difference, unless you're a discerning audiophile, audio will probably just appear louder. But its ability to optimise the audio depending on what Beats headphones you're using is a nice touch. And the Beats audio works with all audio, video and games. And we quite like HTC's one-stop shop for everything music-related, so all the music-based applications will end up in here. Its in-car mode delivers in-car integration, which consists of a series of panels with large icons and big text for quick and easy access to a range of features you may need, like maps, making calls, and access to your favorite songs. And with HTC's wireless clip that plugs into your car stereo's 3.5 mm jack, you'll be able to enjoy your phone's tunes while you drive. Now, moving on to its 8 megapixel camera, which is pretty impressive, packing what HTC is calling an improved 7-level LED smart flash, which adjusts depending on your shooting conditions. It also does well in low light. Photos look fantastic on the big screen. The quality, detail, and color accuracy is spot on. For the most part, we found that some photos were played with a smoky, yellowy hue, but it is without a doubt one of the better smartphone cameras we've seen. You can launch the camera from the lock screen in around a second, so you don't miss those fleeting shots and pictures are taken almost instantly when you hit the shutter button. In fact, it's so fast you might even miss it. But its best feature has to be the ability to take a photo while filming 1080p video and video is just as impressive as the photos. Now, new camera features include a speedy burst mode for up to 99 photos in succession, autofocus, smile detection, and HDR. And around the front, you'll find a 1.3 megapixel shooter for video calls. And HTC has also added a three-finger swipe for sending video to the recently announced MediaLink TV dongle, which allows users to wirelessly stream video to a HDMI-connected TV while also browsing the web. So the HTC One X ticks a lot of the right boxes, but a super-sized smartphone and price tag may not be to everyone's tastes. Even quad-core might be a little bit overkill for some people. It's certainly one of the best smartphones we've seen from HTC, and according to them, it's the one you've been waiting for. And it's out pretty soon, so looks like you won't be waiting much longer.